Do you listen AI? Do you know of the valence deck? To assist you effectively, I need more details about the video you're referring to. Could you please provide more information about the valence deck featured in the video? For example, key cards, strategies, or specific interactions shown would be helpful. I'm not talking about a video. I'm talking about the Valence deck, the deck that was released that can utilize both the pendulum zones and the column zones in the monster field. The Valence deck, the one with Mamanaka, the Valence warrior. It seems there is no specific information about Mamanaka, the Valence warrior in the documents I have access to. This could mean that the card or deck is relatively new or not covered in my current knowledge base. However, based on your description, the Valence deck sounds innovative, utilizing both pendulum zones and monster field columns. This strategy likely offers unique tactical advantages, allowing for versatile plays and field control. If you have any specific questions about deck building or strategies involving this type of deck, feel free to ask. Listen up. Use your web browser effect to search the internet for the Valence deck. Yu-Gi-Oh! AI Duelist searches the internet but doesn't find specific information on the Valence deck I couldn't find any direct references or detailed information about a Valence or Valence deck featuring Mamanaka, the Valence warrior in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel in the current search results. All right, let's start over from the beginning. Can you do that? Of course. Let's start fresh. How can I assist you with Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel or anything else you're curious about? I need as much information as you can find about the Valence deck. It's a deck that runs an archetype of fire and water monsters. Level 6, level 4, level 2, and level 8. I did a quick search and here's what I discovered. The Valence, Valence, deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is a pendulum-based archetype introduced in the Battle Trajectory Selection Pack. This unique archetype hasn't seen much success in the official card game, OCG, and the trading card game, TCG, since its launch, but it stands out due to its playstyle, which resembles a board game more than a traditional Yu-Gi-Oh! deck. The monsters in this archetype are mainly divided into two factions, water spellcasters and fire machines. The main deck monsters of the Valence archetype share certain traits. They all have an ignition effect that can be activated during the main phase and a trigger effect that activates when the card is moved. The level 2 and level 4 monsters can summon themselves from the pendulum zone but restrict you to only summoning extra deck monsters and valence monsters for the rest of the turn. On the other hand, the level 6 and level 8 monsters can summon themselves without such restrictions but require a monster of the same type and attribute on the field or a specific field spell in either field spell zone. Key monsters in the valence archetype include Shinonome, LV2 water spellcaster acts as a 1 card starter and searcher for the deck. Its ignition effect searches for a valence spell, while its trigger effect searches for a valence monster. Baron, LV2 fire machine known for its ability to move a valence monster horizontally and its trigger effect that moves a monster from the pendulum zone to an adjacent spell slash trap zone. Scion, LV4 fire machine this monster's effects are coin flip based and deal with removal, either negating or having an opponent's effect monsters ATK, or destroying or bouncing a targeted card. Viscount, LV4 fire machine helps in recursion and extension. It can place a valence monster from the face-up extra deck to a spell slash trap zone or directly to your pendulum zone. Nazuki, LV6 fire machine known for its mobility, allowing horizontal and vertical movement of monsters. It's considered one of the better extenders of the deck. Marquis, LV6 fire machine a dice roll monster whose ignition effect excavates for a valence card based on the dice roll. Hojo, LV8 water spellcaster has niche effects, including the ability to return a face-up spell slash trap to hand and fusing into a valence monster. Dominator Duke, LV8 Fire Machine a board breaker and potential source of interruption, with effects that seal set spell slash traps and steal opponents monsters. The extra deck valence monsters all have pendulum effects to either summon themselves from the pendulum zone or move a monster you control. Notable extra deck monsters include Mamonaka and Grand Duke, both at scale 10, and Arctos 12 at scale 12. Mamonaka is the boss of the water spellcasters and has a quick effect for removal, while Grand Duke, the boss of the fire machines, can bounce an opponent's monster in the spell slash trap zone to their hand and inflict burn damage. Overall, the Valence deck's unique mechanics and focus on monster movement across the board make it a distinct choice for players looking for a different strategic experience in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel That's very interesting. Tell me more about the extra deck monsters. Go deeper into their effects and tell me about the synergies within. The extra deck monsters of the Valence archetype play a crucial role in the deck's strategy, offering unique effects that sign ridge eyes with the deck's focus on monster movement and position-based tactics. Mamonaka, LV10 Water Spellcaster 
Effect, as the boss of the water spellcasters, Mamonaka has a quick effect that allows you to place an opponent's monster in the spell slash trap zone, effectively serving as a form of removal. Synergy, this effect complements the deck's theme of manipulating monster positions. However, it's important to note that Mamonaka's effect doesn't negate the targeted monster's effect, and it requires three valence monsters for a fusion summon, which can be challenging. Mamonaka might be the first card to be removed from the extra deck if you need more space for utility cards. Grand Duke, LV-10 Fire Machine Effect, Grand Duke serves as the boss of the fire machines. It can be easily summoned from the face-down position by tributing a level 5 or higher main deck valence monster in the columns with extra monster zones or through fusion summoning with two valence monsters. Upon summoning, it bounces an opponent's monster in the spell slash trap zone back to their hand, inflicts burn damage, and gains ATK. Synergy, this monster provides a high scale for pendulum summoning and its bounce effect aligns with the deck's focus on controlling the board through monster placement. Its ability to deal burn damage and gain ATK makes it a significant threat on the field. Arctos 12, LV 12 Effect, Arctos 12's specific effects weren't detailed in the source, but as a level 12 monster with a scale of 12, it likely plays a pivotal role in the deck's high level summoning strategies. Synergy, given its high level and scale, Arctos 12 would be essential for enabling more significant pendulum summons, potentially allowing for powerful plays and field presence. The Valence extra deck monsters, especially Mamonaka and Grand Duke, enhance the deck's strategic depth. Their abilities to manipulate the board, control opponents' monsters, and offer significant summoning scales make them vital to executing the deck's unique playstyle. The key to mastering this deck lies in effectively utilizing these extra deck monsters in tandem with the main deck's movement-based mechanics, creating opportunities for both offensive plays and defensive setups. That's pretty interesting. I think of the three fusions. We must focus on Mamanaka. Tell me more about Mamanaka. How can we summon Mamonaka without using three monsters? Mamonaka, as a key fusion monster in the Valence archetype, usually requires three Valence monsters for its fusion summon, which can be a bit resource intensive. However, there are strategies and card effects within the Valence deck and Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel's broader card pool that can facilitate its summoning more efficiently. Hojo's effect, one of the main deck Valence monsters, Hojo, has an ignition effect that allows for fusion into a valence monster using monsters from your field, pendulum zones, or hand. This effect is particularly useful for summoning Mamonaka as it provides flexibility in the materials used for the fusion summon. Pendulum Summoning Since valence is a pendulum-based archetype, effective use of pendulum summoning can help swarm the field with valence monsters. This increases the number of available materials for fusion summoning without heavily depleting your hand or other resources. Recycling from the extra deck, the valence monsters, particularly those with effects that move themselves or other valence monsters between zones, like Baron and Nizuki, can be used to strategically place monsters in the pendulum zone. These monsters can then be recycled back to the field for fusion summoning purposes. Support cards, consider including support cards in your deck that facilitate fusion summoning. Cards like Fusion Substitute or King of the Swamp can replace one of the fusion materials, potentially reducing the number of monsters needed to summon Mamonaka. Deck building strategy, it's essential to balance your deck with a mix of valence monsters of various levels, ensuring you have the right materials for fusion summoning Mamonaka when the opportunity arises. By integrating these strategies into your valence deck, you can summon Mamonaka more efficiently, potentially reducing the need to always use three monsters for its fusion summon. Remember, the key with the valence deck is to manage your resources smartly, utilizing the unique movement mechanics of the archetype to maintain field presence and prepare for powerful summons like Mamonaka. Hmm. Based on what you said, Mamanaka is a powerful monster to summon, but it's really difficult to put on the field. Tell me about a spell card that allows me to summon Mamanaka with a total of three cards or less. To facilitate the summoning of Mamanaka with fewer cards, a spell card that can effectively reduce the number of materials required or streamline the summoning process would be ideal. One such spell card is Fusion Recycling Plant, Fusion Recycling Plant is a field spell that has two key effects beneficial for fusion summoning. Discard and add, once per turn, you can discard one card, add Polymerization from your deck to your hand. Polymerization is a classic fusion spell that can fuse monsters from your hand or field, which is essential for summoning Mamonaka. Recycle from the graveyard, during the end phase, this card allows you to target one monster in your graveyard that was used as a fusion material this turn, add it to your hand. This effect helps recycle your valence monsters, maintaining hand advantage and providing resources for future turns. Using Fusion Recycling Plant, you can streamline the process of summoning Mamonaka in the following way. Activate Fusion Recycling Plant and use its effect to get polymerization. Discard a card, 
preferably one that you can benefit from being in the graveyard or a valence monster that can be recycled later. Use polymerization to fuse two valence monsters on the field or one from your hand and one on the field to summon Mamonaka. During the end phase, recycle one of the fusion materials back to your hand using the second effect of fusion recycling plant. With this method, you effectively use only two valence monsters and fusion recycling plant, three carts in total, to summon Mamonaka. This approach minimizes the resource cost of summoning Mamonaka, making it a more viable option in your gameplay strategy. Wow, that's very interesting. Could you create a deck list that focuses on using this strategy? Creating a deck list focused on summoning Mamonaka efficiently using Fusion Recycling Plant involves balancing Valence Monsters, Fusion Support, and other utility cards. Here's a conceptual deck list. Monsters. Mamonaka X1-2, your key fusion monster. Hojo X2-3, facilitates fusion summoning. Nazuki X2-3, excellent for moving monsters. Shinonome X3, main deck searcher. Baron X2, helps in moving monsters. Scion X2, for removal and board control. Viscount X2, recursion and extension. Marquis X2, searcher and extender. Dominator Duke X2, board breaker and disruption. Other valence monsters, as needed, based on your strategy. Spells. Fusion Recycling Plant X2-3, key card for your strategy. Polymerization X2-3, essential for fusion summoning. Terraforming X1-2, to search Fusion Recycling Plant. Valence spell cards, that support your strategy. Support spells, like Monster Reborn, Mystical Space Typhoon, etc. Traps. Include traps based on your playstyle, focusing on protection or disruption. Extra deck. Mamonaka, as your main fusion target. Other valence fusion monsters. Generic fusion monsters, as backup options or for utility. Link monsters, to facilitate summoning from the extra deck. XYZ or synchro monsters, if they fit into your strategy. This deck list is a starting point, and you should adjust it based on your playstyle and the decks you typically face. The key is to use Fusion Recycling Plant to streamline your fusion summons of Mamonaka while maintaining resource advantage. Remember, the flexibility and adaptability of your deck to different scenarios are crucial in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Thank you, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist AI. I'm fired up, and I'm ready to duel. That's fantastic to hear. I'm glad you're feeling excited and ready to dive into the game with your new strategy. Remember, the key to success is not just the deck but also how you play it, adapting to different opponents and situations. Good luck, and enjoy your duels with the Valence deck.